Um, I may go to the gym in the morning. I'm not sure. I might go to the gym. I doubt it. I've got to get it together. I don't know what's my problem, but I gotta get it together. babies and welcome back to another vlog if you're new here my name is Brooke go ahead and hit that red subscribe button join the bricky baby gang because the bricky babies are lit we have fun and if you subscribe you're gonna have some fun too so you guys we're back again with a, another vlog it is Saturday February 19th and your girl just finished out another vlog so if I look familiar, I mean, we look familiar in all our daggone vlogs, okay? I talk about these all the time. We usually have on the same things because we always wear our same comfy outfit when we at home just chilling in the house. So, unless I'm going somewhere, y'all gonna see the repeats. And it is what it is, okay? It's not a trial haul, it's not a makeup video, it's a daggone vlog, okay? We're just gonna keep it real. So, it's Saturday night, it is 8.56 on the dot, and your girl is about to try to make an at-home pizza, okay? So, I went to Walmart and got a couple things that I needed. Funny thing, I do a lot of cooking, but I did not have a pizza pan, a nice pizza pan. So, I got a new pizza pan. I ain't gonna say that this thing is nice. I mean, it looks nice, but I won't say it's the best quality or it's gonna last forever. I don't know. It came from Walmart, girl. It was like five dollars. So... You know what I'm saying? I ain't even be making pieces at home all the time. So it's going to do what it's going to do. But me and Bay are getting ready to make us a homemade pizza. Now, I'm not going to do the whole homemade um, pizza dough. So I got this Pizza Buddy um, pizza dough right here. I don't know. Have y'all tried this before? Hopefully, y'all have. Hopefully, it's good. Hopefully, I didn't waste my money. We are going to do a pepperoni and sausage. So they didn't have like little like pepperoni. I mean not pepperoni, I got pepperoni. So they didn't have like little sausage bites like that come in a bag like this. I couldn't find it, maybe they were sold out. So I'm just going to use this regular breakfast sausage and cut it up real small and put it on the pizza. Um, I have some mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella. Say hey babe. Hey, babe. What? You said say hey, babe. I said say hey to Brick Babe. That's how them babe. You said hey, babe. Hey, babe. Wow. <laughs> and then I got some pizza sauce. Of course, you need some good old marinara sauce, okay? And I know that I love a supreme pizza, so I'm going to put some red onion and bell pepper on the pizza. If Kevin doesn't want that, I'll do a half and half. So... Fun fact, Bricky Babies, if y'all didn't know, because I don't think I've talked about, yes, I did. Well, I don't think I told y'all, I got a burp, hold on. So, I've talked about this, I've talked about this before that I've worked since I was 16. I'm 28 if you're new here, okay? It ain't none of your business, but I just told you. So, um, I've worked since I was 16, but y'all, fun fact, from 2012, not what? Yeah, that's right. 2010. That sounds funny to say because I usually would say 2010. Since 2010 until 2015. So about, yeah, right at, wow, that's crazy. Right at five years. I mean, that's almost, it was almost six. I want to say it was 2011 to 2015 or was it 2010? I can't really remember. Don't quote me. But... Fun fact, your girl used to work at Marco's Pizza. I used to work at a pizza joint, okay, for six years or like five and a half. And I loved it. That was my very first job. I went from being a cashier to um, making the pizza, so working the pizza line, working the cut table, and then I went to being a server, which I really, y'all, if I could go back to Marco's Pizza right now and make the money that I make today, Doing what I do, I would do it in a minute. Like, I would do it in a heartbeat. Because, y'all, I loved it. And that, why am I telling y'all this? Because y'all don't care. And this has nothing to do with what I'm gonna do. But I just wanna know. 
I just wanted to let y'all know that your girl used to make pizzas. So we're gonna see if your girl still got it, okay? So. Say she probably gonna see. They, I was fired at making pizzas. But this pizza dough ain't Marco's pizza dough. So if oh. it ain't. No, no, if it ain't fire, it's because that, that's why. Try new things, you realize so many things you need. We need a roller, 
And we need a freaking piece of cutter. Yeah, we had to cut the same with a knife. We still get them. I feel like I'm back in the struggle time, but <laughs> I did it before though. They said we back in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it. Lord, bless this food, bless this pizza, bless these hands that prepared it, may it be nourishment to our body. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Post up, man. Post my pizza. Can you say amen? Amen. It tells my pizza. I let her try it first since she passed out. It's good. Mmm. Straight. It's mm, good. Y'all. Pretty fun. Okay. We did that. Pizzeria on the way. Coop's Pizzeria on the way. I got some there. I got some. I'll make sure that I link everything that we used in the description box in case y'all want to try this at home. This is something fun to do though. Even if it's with yourself, with your man, with your girl, with your friends or your family. Like this is something fun to do. It's a nice in the house date night vibe. So. It's good. It really is good, huh? Y'all know I love pizza. No gel. Hmm? No gel. No gel? Mm hmm. Mm, no gel. Okay. Mmm, so baby, learn. So, the way you know if you made a good pizza is your crust. Right here, I don't know if it's in focus. I don't think it's in focus. But right here, if it look kind of wet and like a gel, we call it gel. If it look like it has a gel, your pizza is not perfected all the way through. That's how we used to learn at Marco's. So keep that in mind. Make sure your pizza is cooked all the way through. Don't go off the crust. Trust your timing. I put it in the oven on 425 and I did 25 minutes. So well, more like 17, 18 minutes. Got a little nervous. I think if I would have left it in there any longer, it would have been like too hard to burn. All right, y'all. So this was a success. We're just about to eat, drink a little bit more. We're drinking Don Julio with our margarita mix, which y'all already know is my favorite. And we're about to continue smoking our La Hookah. Vibe out for the night, and I will check in with you guys in the morning. I gave y'all a little montage b-roll of everything that's going on 
so far this morning i told y'all in my last vlog i've been addicted to tropical smoothie and i've been addicted like i cannot stop drinking this sunrise sunset and it's so good and before y'all even start all this shenanigans like oh my god you made me pregnant no 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 my psych came on this morning she said hello slap me right in my face so you thought so basically this morning what i did is i got up y'all i slept in i felt so good well okay I kind of slept in and I kind of didn't. So I got up at, it was like right at 7.59. I remember the clock. It was like right at 7.59. I got up and um, Kevin had to go do some stuff with work. So I was like, well, while you're doing stuff with work, I'm just going to sleep in and relax. And then when you come back, I'll cook breakfast. So he went and did that. So from 8 to 9.20, I finished up the vlog that I posted before this one. So, yeah, I think it's going to be the vlog before, before I post this. Yeah. So, I finished up a vlog this morning. I got that uploaded. So, after that, from 9.30 to like 11, y'all, I laid in the bed from 9, like 30 until 11 o'clock and it felt amazing. So, then I was like, you know what? I know I'm going to vlog today. Duh. Of course I am. But I was like, I kind of want to do a Sunday reset reel. Y'all know I got a Sunday reset video already, but I was kind of like, I want to do a reel. So I got up this morning. Y'all kind of saw some stuff, but yeah. So anyways, I'm working on that now, as y'all can see, um, I just went and got groceries. So I'm about to continue the reel. Um, I need to get my chair y'all. So I'm gonna give y'all a little BTS. Y'all seen this on the last vlog, but I'm gonna give y'all a tip. I do not like when I'm watching people reels, or their stories i don't like a steady hand and i used to be a person without a steady hand the reason i got into knowing like quality and stuff looking better and i'm not saying my quality is the best okay because like deshaun my friend deshaun his content his quality is top tier like if y'all like my stuff check out his stuff i'll definitely try to remember to link his um channel but like his quality and everything is like fire like perfect but if you guys are making reels and you want your reels to look really good like don't be trying to like record and like hold your phone and do stuff because you're gonna see it no matter how like sturdy you're trying to like hold your phone you're still gonna kind of see that sway it just don't look good to me so basically invest in one of these right here it's gonna hold your phone it's not gonna move Aaliyah face put me onto this like a year and a half ago she put up a video of how she take her own pictures and in that video, she talked about how she don't like for people to take her picture because no matter how much a person think they're holding the camera sturdy, they're not. She was so right about that. So like the pictures I took in Jamaica, if you go and follow me on Instagram, if you look at the pictures in Jamaica, the last couple of pictures I had my husband take it and I give him his credit. He is pretty sturdy. Him and my brother, they can hold a phone pretty straight. But the pictures that I took in Jamaica, I used my picture stand. The two ones in my bathing suits, I used my picture stand and I just had Tiffany, my friend, just stand right here and click. I don't like pictures that are not leveled straight. I, it's just how I like my setup to look. So I'm gonna open up the refrigerator because I want them to see me restocking. So see how we got this? Okay, we got it straight. We restocking with some orange juice. This one is about gone, but I don't like how that looks. So, I'm gonna hide this orange juice. Y'all can't see all these, but I'm gonna hide this orange juice behind this milk. I'm gonna put it in there like this. We're gonna go ahead and put our orange juice, but we're gonna make this smooth. We're gonna try to make this smooth, y'all. I think I got it smooth. Let me see. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Let me show you, Brookie Baby. Let me show y'all. Look at that. Pull the arm out slowly. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, that one was all right. I should have had my bracelet on this hand. Stuff like that be mattering to me, too. Like, I feel like your hand, your arm can look kind of just too naked or something. Uh -uh. I'm going to go ahead and finish this, you guys. And then, um... I probably chill a little bit. It's 3.30 and relax. Wait till Kevin get back. And then um, I will check in with you guys later. I don't know what we're going to do for dinner. I may cook. We may go grab something. I'm not sure. 
but I am sure that I'll check in with y'all a little bit later. I love you. Hey, Brookie babies. Happy Tuesday. I was about to say Wednesday. Happy Tuesday. It's 2-22-22. 222. You better manifest. Now, so. You better manifest some things. <laughs> you better manifest some things, Bricky babies. You better claim some things. You better pray about some things because today is a very special day. Speaking of the fact, I didn't vlog yesterday and I meal prepped all our meals up until up until Wednesday lunch. But it looks like it's gonna be Wednesday dinner because we are, are we are about to go to the Mexican restaurant to have some dinner on this good taco Tuesday. And when I get back, I have to um, record this video. I'm doing a, oop, I'm sorry. I just went really, really, oh, I need to get my car keys. When I get back, I'm doing this obsessions video, my current obsession. So I'm gonna be showing you my current favorites that I'm obsessed with, beauty products, um, Skincare, body care. I'm gonna show you some house things that I'm obsessed with. I'm gonna show you a couple of uh, like the little fitness stuff that I like and I love. I'm gonna show probably about a couple fashion items. I'm going to be showing maybe 15 to 20 items. So I'm trying to get out the door so we can go eat. And then when I get back, I'm gonna do that. Try to knock that out in an hour. I got everything set up and ready to go. I just gotta sit down and talk about it real quick. And yeah. So I'll see y'all at the restaurant. Hey y'all, back home. Dinner was good. Um, y'all, I'm tired. I don't think I am going to record this video tonight. I'm gonna do it tomorrow because it's 8 43. I'll probably be done by like 10 o'clock. And I'm just tired. And by the time I shower and stuff, it'll be like 11. So yeah, I'm about to sit down and chill for like 30 minutes. Y'all look crooked, but it is what it is i'm about to sit down and chill for like 30 minutes we've been watching love is blind so i'm about to go ahead and finish out this episode that i'm watching but yeah nice little evening just want to come on camera and say hello happy tuesday so tomorrow y'all already know i gotta work um i may go to the gym in the morning i'm not sure I've got to get it together. I don't know what's my problem, but I got to get it together. But yeah, so um, I'll check in with y'all tomorrow. I know for sure I got to do this video so y'all get a little BTS. And um, I also need to start um, decluttering this closet because it's getting out of control. I was talking to my cousin today and she was telling me she needs to declutter as well. And I think it's just that time. Y'all know spring is like two weeks away. Super excited. And y'all, we booked a vacay, well, last night, so technically today, because y'all are just now finding out. We booked a vacay. We're taking a girl's trip for Brittany's birthday. I'm super excited about that. So we got, that's my second trip. Me and Kevin booked a trip as well for our anniversary. So that's two trips for 2022. I'm a two trips a year type of girl, to be honest. I don't care about all that. But, I mean, I do, but I just like two trips. Um, but I think I want to get up to four for a year and I'll be good to go. All right, y'all, I'll see you tomorrow.
baby. I know y'all, I'm a little hyper. I got a lot of energy and I'm out of breath, but your girl just got back home from the gym. As y'all saw, I, me and my husband went to the gym this morning because I haven't been to the gym in a while and I'm trying to get back on track. Y'all know the first day of spring is in like two weeks now. Crazy, right? I so feel your girl's trying to get fine, okay? I gotta get fine. I gotta look good for the summertime and just for me, health and wealth, all that good stuff. So I got up this morning. I told Bay I need him to hit the gym with your girl. So we went to the gym, got that in. I got back home. I cooked us some breakfast and it has been a productive morning and now we're getting into the afternoon because it's like one o'clock now we've been laying on the couch for like an hour i know i know don't judge don't judge we ain't took a shower yet but we was laying on the couch because i made my reel then he made a reel but i do have some stuff that i need to do today and i feel like vlogging i'm in a good mood and i want to talk to my bricky baby so i'm going to bring you guys along with me on this day i did have I did have a nail appointment today, but I canceled it and rescheduled it for next weekend because I got another idea coming up, um, another video that I'm working on. So that's going to be in that video. I have so many ideas. I have so much content that I want to give you guys. I'm super excited about all of the things or thoughts that are in my head. It's just that I got to piece it out and get it out to you. What I'm about to do is go upstairs, do a little bit of self care, take me a shower, and then from there... I need to declutter my closet. So, hmm. yeah, I'm about to go upstairs. Let's do some more B-roll, you know, do a little self-care. And then after that, we'll go from there. I'll show you guys like what I'm working on with my closet. It's bad looking a mess, but it is what it is. I need to order some shoe boxes off of Amazon or the container store. So if you have any recommendations, go ahead and link them in the description box because I'm not going to order them today. I'll wait for my bricky babies to recommend me some bomb shoe boxes or containers or something for my shoes so yeah let me shut up okay they're telling y'all everything right now like this is the only chance for me to tell you when i can talk to you guys throughout the day when i'm doing this stuff duh So, your girl is fresh out of the shower. I feel amazing. Just don't, just don't, just don't ask. Let's not focus on it. Just, let's just focus on this right here, okay? Because every time we come in this closet, them clothes is on the box and them shoes in that box is still there. And just, just don't focus on it. So, what we're going to focus on is, y'all know, the closet is split. That side is Kevin. This whole side is mine. So I am gonna focus on everything up top and on this bottom rack that is going to go to Goodwill. I ain't got time to put this stuff on no Poshmark and go through all of this. I think I will focus on this side. Um, when shall we focus on this side, y'all? Maybe in the next vlog or something we'll knock out this side and we'll knock out that shoe box but we're going to focus on all this right here we're going to make sure we get everything that we want to take to goodwill so but maybe i should start some clothes first i don't know i'm just going to move this out of the way i feel so good after that shower i'm so glad i decided to shower first and then um do this because i'm not gonna get that sweaty i'm not gonna let myself but i could not be in them stinking clothes all day uh-uh mm -mm -mm. and you shouldn't let your dirty clothes sit on top of your body that's not good for your skin um or sweaty clothes from the gym so yeah y'all let me know where i can get some good shoe boxes because i want to put all of those shoes in clear boxes i don't think i want the actual original shoe anymore shoe box so yeah let me know but I mean, let's get it. Maybe I should take a picture for the thumbnail first. Y'all, this is one of the hardest things ever. I'm wiping off my phone so the picture will be clear. But this is one of the hardest things ever. It's remembering to take a picture for your thumbnail. Oh my God, it's so hard to remember. 
I saved it. So, let's put on some music. And we gonna get to it. This is why nothing gets done. That is exactly why nothing gets done. Hey. So it probably doesn't look any different, but y'all saw all the stuff that I took off. Clearly you can see I have so many more hangers. I do eventually want to go to um, velvet hangers, but we're gonna have to get this organized first. I gotta hit up there later. Um, this is gonna be like a whole day project. So I'm not gonna be able to do everything. And then of course, right here, I'm not gonna do the side today. I only wanted to dedicate like 30 minutes to this. And then, like I said, I gotta go through that box. So this is the stuff right here that I'm going to let my mom look at and see if she wants it. 
So this is everything else that I'm going to drop off at Goodwill. I'm about to do my makeup for the day and then I'll check back in. Hey y'all, so I just finished my makeup. It is 3.37, we're about to have, well, technically it's a late lunch, but for us, it's not a late lunch because we started the day late. So me and Bay are about to go get some lunch, but I also gotta run by Goodwill to drop off that stuff. But I really want some Sacheros. I'm wanting some nachos. So I think that's what we're going to go get. And then come back, chill a little bit. And then I'm going to try to get in the mood to meal prep. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways. So it's Sunday, February 27th. It's 5.39 in the evening, of course. As y'all just saw, I went by TJ Maxx. I went to the grocery store and I went to Tropical Smoothie because at this point, I think your girl is really obsessed with these smoothies and it's getting out of control, okay? They can't keep getting my coins. I'm gonna have to stop being lazy and actually make it myself. I'm gonna have to look at the menu, get the ingredients and actually make the smoothie. But y'all, I, I just went grocery shopping. I had to get a couple things for the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little grocery haul with you guys, show y'all what I got. All right, so we have some water. I needed some more dish liquid, air wicks. Y'all already know you girl don't like nothing but fresh linen. I got some bread, some eggs, some dirty rice. Got some turkey bacon, um, salmon, some bananas avocado because i've been missing and craving avocado toast and some red potatoes and then right here is some stuff that i got from tj maxx i got a new notebook this is for work it says inspire and empower super cute y'all it was like seven dollars so i need this for work because i'm always jotting down stuff and then i don't know what happened to my little journal that i had that I like do all my budgeting and stuff in and like just write little things. I believe I left it somewhere, which is not bad. Not bad, but it ain't good. I think I left it on base. I don't know y'all. This is my new one. It just says notebook, real clean and sleek. I love it. And it was only like $4 from TJ Maxx. And then your girl got these little mittens right here, which is what I need. Cause I, I need new mittens y'all. Like I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> I'm not about to show y'all the old mittens that I was using, but they're super cute because you like put your hands in there. They're almost like gloves, which mittens are like that, but y'all get it. Like these are super cute. I got these from TJ Maxx. How much were these? They were $6. And then last, if y'all watch my favorite video or my current obsessions, then y'all know I talked about this lava candle and TJ Maxx had one, even though it's a small one. Your girl had to snatch it, so I'm about to go put this in the master bathroom and burn that so it can smell really good. So yeah, y'all, that's everything that I got. I'm about to go ahead and put this up. I'm kinda stressed, you guys. Okay, so y'all know, um, not gonna get too deep, but there has a been, there has been, not gonna get too deep, but it's been a rough week, okay? It's been a rough, last week like last week was not a good week for me and like i've told y'all probably like in a vlog way way back i just do not want to get on camera force it try to force me myself to do things try to force me to just get on camera and sit here and chit chat about whatever if it's just not there, if I'm not mentally there, if I'm just not feeling good, if I'm just drained or I'm dealing with some life stuff, I don't want to do that because I don't know. I just feel like energy kind of transfers transfers from one person to the other. And I just don't want to do that. Like my goal here is to make you guys happy, bring you guys my goofiness, whatever it is that make y'all laugh, the accent, the goofiness, the things I say, like whatever it is, I want you guys to come here, feel good, laugh, be happy, and then learn something from my channel or get something um you know that you didn't know like 
not get something like what can you get <laughs> but you know what i mean you know what i mean not like physically get something but like be inspired or influenced i maybe maybe that's the word or motivated like i just want you guys to see my life but at the same time i'm not just on here to say hey look at me i went to the grocery store like i want to put you on whether it's something small like hey sis switch from eating pork all the time and switch to this healthy turkey bacon like whatever it is i want you to come here and like enjoy but also be like hey brooke told me about this or hey brooke help me with this so it's not just about getting on camera and showing you my life that's not my purpose and point here so when i'm not feeling good i don't want to get on camera and i don't want y'all to end the video or get off the video feeling down as well like i want everybody to be happy and i know that we are not always going to be happy because we're humans but basically not get too deep into things there has been a lot going on i know you guys are aware um with the situations that are happening overseas long story short if you have family members that are family members are friends that are in the military you probably definitely know what's going on and it's just a lot it's just a lot so the best thing i can say is just Pray for the military families. Pray for my family. Um, if you have military family, I'm praying for you guys and your family members. And I'm also praying for all of the military families. Because it's a lot going on right now. And it's a lot of stuff that is just out of our control. Like Kevin right now, he's at a meeting. And who knows what's to come. Who knows what's to come. So, with that being said, my spirits have been a little low. Um, I've been trying to push through like right now. I'm literally trying to push through I literally just want to go upstairs lay down watch some of my favorite youtubers because That is comforting to me like just laying out relaxing not doing anything. It's very comfortable It puts me in a very comfortable and calm place. So I'm about to go watch some of my favorites They've dropped vlogs. Thank the Lord and if they didn't drop a vlog today, I'm sure they're coming tomorrow. So when I get off work, I will still be able to like, kind of like calm down and feel better about everything that's going on. So yes, I'm about to put this stuff up. Your girl's good, don't worry. Your girl's gonna be good. I'm gonna be good, okay? I got strong faith, y'all. And it don't matter what's going on, at the end of the day, your girl knows God and God is in control and baby he has to say so he has this in control so if I'm gonna pray I can't worry because why worry if you're gonna pray okay you can't be like I got faith I know God is gonna take care of it and still worry I know we're human and sometimes we do worry but I'm just gonna give all of this to God and let him take control because he knows what's going on and what's best because I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know but yeah, so I'm about to put all of this up. I'm going to go upstairs, like I just said, and kind of relax. I did a meal prep yesterday. So, you know, just with everything going on, like after we got back from lunch, I was telling Kevin, like, I can't do it. Like, I can't do it. Like, I can't walk. I tried. I woke up Saturday morning and I was like, I got to get footage. I need to get a video out. And I really wanted to do the productive day of my life. But I had to tell myself and he had to tell me, okay, you're not going to have just one productive day in your life. There's going to be more productive days in my life. There's going to be more opportunities to film this and to film this. Like, you have to be in that moment and be a human if you don't want to do anything. But just relax. Sometimes you have to do that. Like, yeah. You know, as entrepreneurs or business owners, people say, you know, there's a, the, there are those days where I push through even when I didn't want to. But there's also those days where you literally want to push through, but you just cannot push through. And there is nothing wrong with that, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. They may not tell you, but trust me, there are some days where you just physically cannot push through. And yes, that was one of those days where, I'm sorry, y'all. Sometimes I can't just sit and talk. I have to, like, just go ahead and start putting stuff up. But sometimes there are those days when you just like, girl, even if I wanted to push through, I'm not. Like, I'm clocking out and I'm relaxing. So, that was yesterday. Today, I slept in. I haven't done anything all day. This was my first time getting out of the house. It was at 4 o'clock. I didn't cook breakfast. I ordered food. Um, I went out, had a late lunch. I got my smoothie. And I'm probably going to meal prep later. So, of course, if I end up feeling up to it, I will meal prep. If not, we will do that tomorrow. And, yeah, we'll just continue out this vlog and see what's up. So, yeah. If I don't see you guys later, I will see you tomorrow. 
Hey, Bricky babies. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's like seven o'clock. Your girl is chilling right now. I am watching vlogs. I'm watching Chelsea's vlog right now. Let me pause. Let me pause this girl. Y'all, Chelsea's a little on funny. <laughs> But um, I got to get to the A, y'all. I got to get to CB2. I be living through the CB2 vlogs. Like, when they go to CB2, I be, like, tuned in. Because I need to get there. Y'all know I love home decor and stuff like that. So, oh, if the military would just let us pick where we want to live. Oh, my God. I'll be so happy. I would be back in the A or I would be back in my hometown. It ain't much to do in my, whole my hometown. But y'all know your girl is a family girl. So, and my hometown is only like an hour and 15 minutes from South Atlanta. So it will be nothing, nothing, nothing for your girl to, uh, you know, get up that road. So with that being said, military, since you won't let us pick, put your girl in Fort Benning, Columbus. Put me somewhere close to the A. Put me, put us somewhere. But yeah, y'all, anyway, let me shut up. I'm over here wishful thinking. Um... But yeah, I'm just chilling. When I got off work, I ran a couple errands. I had to go to the hair store and I went to GNC. They didn't have what I needed. So um, I'm going to have to go back because I need my collagen. I'm out and I can't function. Y'all know I drink my tea with my little collagen every morning and I'm out and the tea is just not hitting like it was hitting. Okay. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to show y'all what I got from the hair store in just a minute. But I'm being a couch potato right now. This couch is so comfortable. It was a long day, a good day, but a long day. And happy March 1st. I know when y'all are watching this, it's not March 1st anymore. But happy March 1st, you guys. March is going to be a good month, okay? March is for more money, manifestation, all the M's, whatever it is you want. The millions, the money, the movements, the moves. Anything with an M that's positive, that's what we manifesting for March, okay? It's up, baby. It's up. Your girl, book, your girl booked her flight today for this trip in May. I'm so excited. I'm ready to go. It's time to get out of this country and go somewhere. I'm ready to go somewhere. So, I'm excited about that. Yeah, we booked our vacation as well for our anniversary. We'll see what happens with that because, you know, the military control, the Cooper's lives. But anyways, I'm just chilling. I'm about to finish out this vlog. So I'm going to sit here for about 20 more minutes. And then I'm going to show y'all what I got from the hair store. All right, y'all. So let me show you real quick what I got from the hair store. Does it look gray in here? It looks gray in here to me. I don't know. Maybe it's not picking up like that on camera. Or maybe when I edit, it won't look like this. But this kitchen be giving gray. But anyways, I told y'all before I got some hair install videos to do. I have like two. I need to hurry up because I done had the wigs for a minute. But y'all know I like to dye all my wigs and all my bundles jet black. I actually got four boxes because I need to dye this one over as well. I'm probably going to do that like Friday night maybe. Friday night or Saturday morning. I don't know. But anyways, this is the hair dye that I get. It's the Clairol. I get Silken Black. This is what it looks like. You can find this at Walmart or your local like beauty supply store. They're $5.69, so I got four of these. And I love Silk and Black, but it does come off jet black, so you can't leave it on there too long or it'll be like really, really black. And sometimes they look a little crazy on me because I'm not light, light skin, but I am kind of like on the lighter side. So I don't know, like super, super black hair. It kind of looked crazy on me. To me, that's just my opinion. And then I also got the Clairol. This is the 20 volume developer because I do. This is what it looks like. I like the ones from Sally's, but this is all the hair store had. And then I get the BW2 bleaching powders. This is what I use to bleach the knot. I also will get the I also get the L'Oreal Quick Blue sometimes. So you can use either one of them. And then I picked up this olive oil super moisturizing daily daily styling lotion. It has rice water and electrolytes. Um it's supposed to be for supercharged hydration and growth. So I'm trying to take care of my natural hair natural hair better. And you need to hydrate your hair. I know we wear wigs a lot, 
or a lot of us wear wigs and then we have a stocking cap so it can dry out our hair so i picked this up this is what it looks like let me know if you tried this before because this should be pretty good i usually like a lot of the ors products so hopefully i like that and then i just picked up my favorite lashes i'm getting my lashes done on saturday i'm super excited the first time i got my lashes i didn't go that thick because i was scared and this was my first time but this time on saturday i'm gonna get volume and i think i'm gonna do like 10 to 15 on the lift so but i did pick up some of my favorite lashes by i envy it's the matte 3d like i tell y'all all the time it's k-m-e-i-07 so here screenshot these y'all because i love these lashes they're not too thick they look natural but you can tell you got on lashes i actually have them on right now they kind of cute huh yeah so that's basically all i got from the hair store but yeah i'm about to go upstairs and take me a bath i want to take me a bubble bath because first of all it's cold it'd be cold downstairs in my house so i'm like freezing upstairs it'd be hot like we got to get us a house that has like two units because it be cold downstairs in the fireplace. I got to get um a gas tank and I don't, I don't be trusting that gas stuff, y'all. I be scared. So I wish it was like an electric fireplace, but yeah, it's cold because it's colder today, but tomorrow's supposed to be hotter. Y'all know how Georgia do. So I'm going to go upstairs, take me a hot bath, wash my face and relax. So let's go do that. y'all so your girl is fresh out of the tub i feel amazing okay if y'all have not purchased that dr till's melatonin bath what are you waiting for okay trust your girl it's gonna have you feeling so good and you're gonna be knocked out i'm probably gonna be asleep in like the next 30 minutes to an hour but i'm about to just sit here chill watch some youtube videos or whatever until i fall asleep but i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did please make sure to give your girl a thumbs up leave me a comment share the video and don't forget to hit the red subscribe button join the bricky baby gang because the bricky babies are lit we have fun and if you subscribe you're gonna have some fun too i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next one bricky baby